I am Yan. Thank you for being here with me. We listen to comebacks or songs that I've never heard of before for those who are new. And so, welcome. I am trying to broaden my understanding and interest of K-pop besides the few groups I've liked in the past. So that's why I'm doing this. And I think it's also fun to have, you know, you here and being in this little tiny community where we can talk about K-pop. So today we're listening to a group called B2B and I have liked them for some time. I mean, I wouldn't say like I'm a hardcore like fan or Melody, right? It's not the name of their group, but I like many, many of their songs and I'm so happy that they were in the survival show Kingdom because it's been so long since I've seen them and perform and listening to their voices. So that was just really great. And I'm glad, you know, they're still producing music, even though it's been like, what, 10 years or more or something like that. That's intense. So congrats for, you know, staying and surviving all these years as, you know, K-pop, it's a competitive world, but I'm glad they're, you know, still producing music for us all to enjoy. The song that we're listening to today is called Outsider. So does that mean there's someone outside that doesn't belong to us or there's just something outside or they're thinking outside the box, that type of a feel? Um, I don't know, but I'm excited to listen to it with you all for the first time. So let's check it out right now. Ooh, okay, looks like we're at this, we're filming, I believe, right? I see director, see, it kind of reminds me of kingdom when they did something similar to that but i'm sure it was a different song but it looks like someone is getting ready as well as this member right here uh yeah i guess we'll get started then let's enjoy b2b's outsider <laughs> I just wanna be what you wanna be. I wanna be an outsider. And I'm too glad to push it to your hand outsider. I'm holding more than a set up, so can I hold on back? Just get the silence. Just let me be, set me free. I just wanna be an outsider. Hopefully somebody on me my home is hey. I'm not going to be my own Don't have a story I'm going to be my own 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 Just give me a chance to know I wanna be an outsider 남들 같은 갖고 싶지 않아 an outsider 아무도 모르는 세상 속에 나 홀로 빠져 Just be the silence Just let me be, set me free I just wanna be an outsider I'm 
세상 속에 나 홀로 빠져 Just get uh, the silence uh, Just let me be Set me free 나의 look at me You know what, B2B is always a group where they think outside the box, they do things very differently, but it's still their style. Like, I mean, I didn't really get everything that was going on here. I felt like it's probably more symbolic than what I noticed the first time around, but I feel like there's always something different, you know, like if they want to turn it into like a trot of some sort they will turn it but then make it b2b style if they have something like classical it'll be b2b style you know there's just something very unique about it and it's just entertaining to see how how this was laid out as i was watching it and to be honest i don't know what outsider means like they want to be an outsider so they all had different roles i guess but Maybe they don't want to be who they want to be or they want to experience what it's like to be something else besides who they are. And so let's go back to the beginning and I will kind of use that as a guide of how I will explain my own interpretations. So we see different members in different scenes like getting ready to, you know, film and all that. And so I first thought this is kind of like a story kind of part of a movie that they're all in but they all have their own individual i guess chapters if you will and so i'm sorry if i don't know all the names chang chang i'm i'm gonna have to look it up for pronunciation purposes that might help me a little bit hold up okay so lee chang sub is my like I don't, I wouldn't say he's my bias, but he's just so funny that it, you you just can't take your eyes off of him. He's very good at acting. He's very humorous, especially Kingdom when we first, um, I guess, when I first saw them this year, I guess, so to speak. And it's just, he has, he's not afraid to look, you know, look bad, you know. Sometimes people have like wacky hairdos or he has like a poor role, like being just a typical worker in this in this office right but it looks like he's just very sad and um look down upon feel right so he's really good at acting and i'm glad he's willing to be open to be any kind of character and so we see him as someone who is you know not really enjoying his job but is doing what he needs to do and then we see peniel let me just make sure yeah peniel shin and so um, he I'm kind of confused, like this Russian roulette or something. I don't gamble. I don't really know what's going on, but it seems like he is into gambling in the storyline. And so he's like an expert, I guess. But in the end, like everyone aimed toward him. So I was a little confused of what's going on with there. But B2B reminds us, you know, it's still acting. It's not like, you know, it's part of this movie or part of this drama. And they were dancing very simple dance i know they're i remember in kingdom they said you know they're the oldest group and they are a lot older than the other groups so they kept the dances simple and here it's simple too but i think it's very nice it's what b2b always had they never had like really difficult choreography even though when they were younger but it's more like uh, other things that stood out right their voices their their concepts their mvs their acting so it doesn't have to be dance that needs to make them shine and stand out. And so I also noticed we have the B2B logo right here as well, which is pretty cool. But then we transition to the next members after a little bit of singing, especially in the chorus area. We have Yong Kwang. Yong Kwang, uh, I guess he, I'm not sure if he's acting, but I mean like as in, in this scenario in this MV but it looked like he was a zombie which he did a pretty good job by the way and he's a zombie that's just stuck here all by himself like an asylum of some sort but not the ideal like place you would want to be so his acting was pretty good too but I guess there'll be more of him in a bit because we are now with uh, Min Hyo and so Min Ho Hyo pardon me is Kind of reminds me of like Batman or like a superhero that hops um, from place to place or rooftop to rooftop, tongue twister. And he has uh, like red hair, so he definitely stood out. But yeah, he was rapping, riding his convertible. And so we went back and forth with Min Hyuk and 
Yun Kwang. And so, yeah, it's this part he was really good at acting. He did look like a very stiff zombie that just got worse and worse, and um, other zombies came and attacked him. And so, in that recording, and so, yeah, maybe like he wants to know what it's like to be human again, being an outsider again, or something like that. But then we see Chang Sup, Chang Sup, um, dressed up very nicely in a tux with a uh, champagne and so it became like the exact opposite right before he was just you know a small worker in a huge company feel but now he's like the boss vibe so things are flip-flopping the way it was in the beginning and then there's also a play of like black and white i'm not sure if it's like making it more classy but we see you know some people have changed uh, over time in this MV and then we see more dancing on a rooftop and those smooth transitions from the three main settings that they were in and they all had a little bit of more time to shine like individual screenshots of the members but then there was this shooting here so I'm not sure I thought Pinyel was like the one who had the gun but then everyone else did but then Min Hyuk shot two people so I was like, hmm, what is going on here? Like, what kind of drama movie is happening? But every time we're on the rooftop, though, it gave me like a musical vibe, um, like Mary Poppins, Oliver and Twist, uh, that type of feel for some reason. Also, maybe the colors too gave me that. But then they were like powerful enough, and they destroyed two planes or spacecraft, or I couldn't tell what it was. Let me see if I can rewind. It's a little dark on my screen. That's the thing. Hmm. Yeah, right here. <gasps> Can't tell. Spacecraft, maybe? So it seems like they all have four different roles, and they are a team, and they're like, they have missions. It's just like, it gave me like a dun 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 dun, you know, that type of a feel. I don't know what it's called, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, then when it exploded, it's kind of funny because it looked like he did, he was scared. So it's just like, fool, you know, great acting there too. Or maybe something did explode in the background. I would love to watch behind the scenes. But yeah, it's just very fun. And <laughs> Pinyo's just like, what just happened? Okay. Um, but I, I feel like it's a continuation. Like now they're outsiders. Now what? Like... Like, what is their identity, you know? So I'm really glad that they have this MV to make me think and smile a bit and just enjoy their vocals, whether it's singing or rapping. Oh, I love it when they harmonize and create different, you know, themes and ideas in their MVs. So, yeah. I enjoyed it very much. So thank you for watching this with me. Tell me about your thoughts of B2B's Outsider, support B2B, as well as continue to listen to Outsider many, 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 many more times. Sorry, tongue twister for me. So yeah, thank you so much and I will see you another time.